Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Keeping on the Pertagon theme, we're going to tie a... This is going to be a cutting torch. The hook that I have on in the vise is a Lively Legs Lip Splitter 310J size 14. This is a barbless hook, jig hook. Two extra strong black nickel, very sharp hooks. Nice, no barbs. I love them, no barb. You get the fish in the in the net, and the fly usually falls right out. Just have to make sure you keep tension on the fish until you get them to your net. The bead is a lively legs, down and dirty, slotted tungsten beads, three millimeter, for size 14, 12. And these are black nickel. They have a little bit of shine to them. You know, they don't, it's not a dull black like some of them are. But it's going to work really nice. The thread I'm going to use, I'm using Hemingway thread. This is 8 aught thread. This is really strong stuff. But this 8 aught is actually like a 10 or a 12 aught in the Vivas. Really nice. Going to start the thread right there at the bead. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to hold that bead up in place so that the slot goes to the right spot and keeps that bead up where it should be when you tie a jig headed fly with a slotted bead. Keeps that bead up there and mostly on the top so when you fish it it will ride with the point of the hook up because most of the weight is going to be on the top of the hook so it's going to flip we're going to bring that thread to just about the point maybe slightly maybe a millimeter past the point now our tail material i'm going to use the shaving brush that I colored different colors here and I'm going to use the red and I'm going to take about six of these and we only want those uh, microfibits to be the length of the body see the marker comes off you see the red in my fingers when you are tying comes off slightly I'll put them on my side just slightly just to get that go ahead and pull the, these to length there we go bring my th thread up to the top keep those microfibits on top Go ahead and trim off the waist. Now the body of the fly, we're going to use a silver tinsel. And I'm going to use this, actually the number 14 is a little bit big. I'm going to go ahead with a size 16, with a number 16 silver tinsel. This is maybe almost one third less width than there was on the 14. Take about two wraps off the spool, should be plenty, unless you want to make several of them. And now when you tie this in, I'm going to tie it so I'm I dropped it. I'm going to tie this in slightly from the back side. I'm going to keep the silver on top and tie this down. And then we're ready to just go right ahead into the wrapping process. And we're going to see that silver. back let me back that up 
because it looks like I got a space there. A little bit too big of a space, so I had to back that up there a little. If you have small spaces, don't really worry a whole lot because when you wrap it back forward, you can cover them. Let me see. I tried to get it around the underneath. I'm going to go all the way right onto the tail. And then I'm going to go forward. Sliding it underneath didn't really work well. But you can see now as I'm going forward, I'm going to cover any of the slight openings that might have been in there. I'm putting tension on this. You don't want it real loose. And be careful that you don't, it doesn't slip out of your fingers because you'll have a mess. And you'll have to start over. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in. Trim away the waist. And I'm going to take some of my GSS Olive Blend Rapid Dubbing. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. You just want to cover over those threads, basically. Plus, give it a little bit of a hairy look at the head. This is a nice, and this is a very effective pattern here too, the silver. Now before I go ahead and wrap the remainder, I'm going to whip finish it in. Good. Give it three nice whip, whips there. Pull that tight. And we're going to put a little bit of head cement on there. Just put a drop right on there. It's going to sink quickly to the bottom. And get that fly to where the fish are at feeding. In the summertime, these are especially effective in the summer and in the winter also. Any kind of partagon like this with a nice short body because the flies are actually small the nymphs are small at that time because the springtime is when the mayflies did most of their hatching and here we have a cutting torch pertagon hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would refer me to your friends please visit my sponsors if you'd like to purchase this or any fly i make go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym and please check out my sponsors and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos